Today we have an early opening and an early preview of the new English set that's coming out, Lost Origins, in the form of the Japanese set that just released on Friday, Lost Abyss. We have a booster box of Lost Abyss right here, and the cards that are in this box will be some of the cards that we see in the next English set coming out called Lost Origins. There is a gorgeous alternate special art, Giratina, Aerodactyl, Rotom, and Galarian Berserker that makes this set really exciting. Bada bing, bada boom. By the way, guys, if this is your first time here, you're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. Let's go see if we can hit some alternate arts. I want you guys to let me know in the comments below, have y'all seen the special arts before this video? Uh, and if you have, let me know which of the special arts you would like to hit the most. I hear that they're pretty hard to hit, but the uh, alternate art Giratina and the alternate art Aerodactyl are gorgeous. Now, I think I think we should be one to the front, but we're gonna double check. Uh, we'll do the first pack, just kind of normal as we go along. And this is really the first that I'm looking at some of these cards. All right, there we go, there we go. There's our hollow. Okay, so we should be going one to the front, okay? And look, we got a uh, we got a hand back right there. <laughs> yeah, there's our first hollow. So we're gonna be going one to the front. So this is a nice preview of what Lost Origins is gonna have for us. Lost Origins should have some really cool cards when that comes out. I've got some cool stuff coming for Lost Origins. Let's go one to the front right there. All right, we got a trainer. Okay, ooh, uh, pal... Pal Palisand or Colisand. I, I forget their names, guys. I forget their names. All right. Dewpider, I think. And there we go. All right. So no hollow in that one. So here's the in interesting thing about this is this isn't one of the more premium style boxes uh, like we saw with Pokemon Go or we saw with VMAX Climax where you're guaranteed hits in every pack. You're definitely not going to be guaranteed a hit in every single pack. So let's go again. Oh, we got Stunfisk. Stunfisk is a great Great little Pokemon that I really enjoy. Oh, it's, uh, oh, Barnacle, Binnacle, oh, oh whatever. <laughs> and, all right, so no hollow again on that one. And like I said, guys, this set just came out in Japan on Friday. So I was able to get some in hand today, which I'm really excited about. If you wanna take a stab at getting some of these yourself, I will be doing my Wednesday night live stream this Wednesday, and we will have, uh, I will have some of these packs available for really cheap for my channel members. And so the channel members will see those channel posts and, ooh, there we go, nice. Uh, the, the channel members will see those uh, channel story posts on the community tab for the members only about how to pick those up. Uh, and if there's anything left over, um, they will be uh, they will be made public to everybody else. We can do it really cheap. It should be fun. All right, here we go. Next one. Ooh, we got a Porygon. Nice little Vulpix action happening right there. Ooh, Howlucha and a Dugong. Okay, so no, so far we've hit two hollows. Um, I haven't really paid attention. I try and be kind of surprised with these Japanese sets uh, outside of what like the secret rares and the alt arts are. I try to be a little surprised. So besides the four big alt arts, I'm not quite sure what we can, ooh, indeedy, what we could be hitting from this set. Hey, there's a seal to go with our dugong. And okay, there we go. We got a Galarian Berserker V. So this is one of the ones that you can hit in an alternate art form. Uh, there's a Galarian Berserker alternate art. So we got our first V, Galarian Berserker V. Kind of cool. I'm honestly, I'm really impressed with, uh, with the quality of some of the new V card artworks that's coming out, I think the quality's looking really, really good. I'm, I'm really, really impressed with it. So that, uh, that, that's kind of cool. And it'll be a fun live stream on Wednesday when we, uh, when we open these for, uh, for some of the channel members live. Nice little uh, drowsy right there. All right, and boom. Oh, Mimikyu, very cool. All right, we're getting, uh, I'd say we're about a quarter of the way through. These, uh, these Japanese packs go pretty quick because there's only a five in each one. Porygon again, and we have, oh! <laughs> Aerodactyl V-Star, nice. Oh, now it just needs to be the Aerodactyl alternate art in here and I will lose my mind. But I'll take an Aerodactyl V-Star, wow, really cool. Look at, can you see that texturing? Look at that tech, boom, look at that texture. That is crazy. Oh man, we'll take that. We'll take that. Oh, nice. Aerodactyl V-Star. Heck yes. Like I said at the beginning, the Aerodactyl is the uh, the main card that I would like to hit from this set. 
So to hit the V Star or the Aerodactyl alternate art, to hit the V Star is very, very, very cool. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Boom. All right. Now we just got to hit that Aerodactyl alternate art and uh, I'll lose my mind. Um, the Giratina alternate art looks really, really cool. Like the physical card, not just the render. Looks really cool, man. Really, really cool. All right. Let's see what we got. What are we gonna hit? What are we gonna hit? And we got a uh, boufflant. Okay, pack number ten ish. Guys, let me know what you think. I have been really enjoying Japanese cards because they are super, super good quality. Uh, they're a little bit more affordable to open. I feel like I can open more for my buck, uh, and I get like a nice little preview of what's coming out in English. I really oh, Aerodactyl V. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta get the trifecta. We got to get the trifecta. Oh, please give us the trifecta. Wow, that is cool. Really, really digging that. Really digging that. Uh, like I said, since these came out Friday, I have no idea how easy it is to hit a V-Star or an Aerodactyl in general. No clue whatsoever. So, I don't know. We'll see. I, I know it's even... I may, I may not even hit a special art here. I may not even hit a special art here. And that's okay. But uh, Slugma, I hope... I sure hope I do. Uh, and there's our nice hypno. I love this artist. Shinji, Shinji Kondo, his his artwork always looks like super trippy and super cool. And so for him to do a hypno is really, really fitting. That's really nice. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, the Giratina looks super busy, but the uh, alternate art version of it in person, it looks really cool. So it'll be interesting to see if the Giratina, nice little Kingdra, if the Giratina or the uh, Aerodactyl will be like the main, main chase from this set. Not sure as of yet. Um, that's kind of cool. Look at that uh, trainer. It's got like the smoke coming off of the sides of the artwork. I don't know. But I've seen that before. It's not something common. That's actually pretty neat. Let's look at that. You can see this other trainer right there. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so it, I, in my estimation, it'll either be the Aerodactyl or the Giratina alternate arts that'll be the uh, special art for, you know, the special chase for this one. So I guess we'll see. Macargo. Look, okay, so he's got, look, he's got that, that art too. Interesting. I wonder what, I wonder why some of them have that. That's kind of cool. I haven't, I had something I haven't seen before, so that's kind of exciting. Okay, what do we got next? And all right, all right, Sableye. That's a cool looking hollow. Not upset with that. All right, we're coming up to the halfway point, my friends, coming up to the halfway point. Remember, like I said, Wednesday night, uh, I'll be doing a live stream, one of my regularly scheduled Wednesday live streams at 9 p.m. Central. Look, we got that cool that cool coloring coming off again. Uh, so come hang out and, uh, and watch me rip some more of these packs live for people. Hopefully we'll hit some bangers for everybody. And the Kingdra Hollow. All right, there we go. About as fun as uh, opening one of these two days after they release in uh, in general. Look, here we go again. We, uh, wing or uh, Cramorant. Like, I'm really curious what that, what that extra art it means. Like, what does that, what does that mean? I don't know. If you guys know what that means, let me know in the comments below. I think it looks really cool. I think it looks really cool. All right, and we have a Venomoth. All right, guys, we are reaching the halfway point. We are reaching the halfway point. If you're enjoying the video or you have some fun watching my videos or you learn anything from my content, make sure that you guys subscribe, that you comment, and that you hit that like button. And doing all of those things and watching the videos all the way through is absolutely free, and it really, really helps the videos in the channel. That is cool. That is cool artwork right there. Nice. All right, what are we going to get in this one? And we have a boom. There we go. Another hollow. Very cool. So we've hit one, two, three, four, five, five hollows, one V star, and two Vs out of our first 15 packs. So not bad. Uh, not a bad hit rate, to be honest, out of one of these sets that doesn't guarantee you a hollow from every single pack at all. Kind of kind of digging it. Horsey. Ooh, nice. Look there. We got again with that artwork that's kind of coming off of the coming out of or the, the colors coming out of the art right there. I haven't seen that before. That's really interesting to me. I wonder I heard somebody say that this set has like some kind of some kind of art that comes out of the uh, or like designs that comes out of the um, actual artwork, kind of like amazing rares. I wonder if that's what they were referring to. Very well could be what they were referring to. All right, we got a, ooh, nice. First VMAX pull from the box, and it's a nice little Kyurem VMAX. Wonder what our secret rare is gonna be. Is it gonna be a full art trainer? Is it gonna be an alt art? What are we gonna have in store for us today? 
All right, let's go. Let's see what we got. Ugh, love the drowsy. Oh, look, here we go again. Nice. Porygon 2 with that cool, that cool coloring. Oh, look, again. Very interesting. I'm going to have to... I had no idea that that was, that was something that was happening. Uh, I'm going to have to look up what that is. I know I'm really like... I'm talking about that a lot, but it's, it's really, really cool. So here we go. And guys, if y'all are here watching, I just want you guys to know how grateful and appreciative I am that you watch my videos. That is such, so humbling and so kind. And just something that means so much to me is that people would take time out of their day to watch my videos. Uh, and I hope if you watch my video, I hope it just, any of my videos, hope it brings a smile to your face. That's, that's one of the main goals that I want uh, is for people to enjoy my videos, escape from the world, for a little bit and just be happy and bring a smile to their face. That's a nice Pidgeotto V, cool. Uh, that's really one of my biggest goals. So if this video makes you smile or uh, distracts you or helps you have a little bit of fun today, then uh, my goal has been accomplished. So just thank you guys so much for sitting here and enjoying the videos. And for those of y'all that are channel members, Thank you so much for believing in the channel. Once we get over 100 channel members, we're gonna do a fun giveaway. It's another one of the cool arts coming off of everything. And once we cross 15,000 subscribers, we're gonna do a fun giveaway too. I haven't decided exactly what we're doing, Venonat, but uh, it'll be fun. It'll be fun for sure. And there's our stun fisk again. All right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs left. Guys, let me know down in the comments below which card I've pulled so far has been your favorite? I think the Aerodactyl V-Star has been my favorite thus far. But I'd love to know down in the comments which one will be your favorite. All right, we got our little C-Dot right there and all my bulk falling over on the other side. Ooh, we got another V. Nice, very nice. Not too bad. Not too bad for our first box of Lost Abyss. Lost Origin should be really cool. We got a Whale Lord. Chilling right there. Ooh, look at the nine tails. Nice looking nine tails for sure. Ooh, I dig that. I dig that. And we have a Manaphy and a. There we go. We got an energy. Bada bing, bada boom. Four more, five more packs left. Is it going to be last pack magic? There's been a couple times uh, when I do my live streams on Wednesday that we get down to the last pack and like the secret rare is in the last pack. There's a Bouffant. I swear we had a Bouffant earlier that didn't have that on it. That's very, very interesting. I'm really, really intrigued by that. If you can't tell, there's a Phantom. If you can't tell, ooh, nice Metagross. Hollow, I believe. Down to four. Woo, starting to get nervous. Starting to get nervous and wonder what my secret rare is going to be. Come on, baby. Love me some Japanese cards because uh, they always look so good. The condition is always so good and they always grade really, really well. Slugma, oh, so this is a hyper rare. Uh, so I don't think this is considered to be our secret rare. So that's actually pretty cool. I don't think that's the secret rare because it's not, it's not quantified as a secret rare, quantified as an SR. So if we still get an SR, uh, getting an SR and a hyper rare in a Japanese box is actually super, super solid. Like it doesn't happen all the time. Uh, I did it in one of my Pokemon Go boxes and got the hyper rare rainbow, um, hyper rare rainbow. Oh goodness. I forget her name. One of the trainers. And then I got the full art trainer version as well, which was pretty sweet. All right. We got our seal John fan and another trainer down to three more. Three more, let's see. Woo. Guys, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think about this set so far? Nice little preview of, uh, of Lost Origins. Totally dropped that card right there. We got the Cramorant with the uh, cool little colors. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing on the back of this one. Yeah, but that's the first we've seen of that guy. Um, what do y'all think so far? Uh, I think Lost Origins is gonna be fun. I think Lost Origins is gonna be fun. Did you know that Lost Origins has a new product coming out? It's uh, Pokemon's putting out a new product uh, and releasing it with Lost Origins. And it's basically like, imagine something the size of a build and battle box, but what's inside is just six booster packs. Straight up, strictly six booster packs, nothing else. Uh, that's really, really cool. I'm excited to see how those are. And we've got a Shadow Rider, last pack. Are we gonna get a secret rare? That's not, that's a triple rare. That's a hyper rare. Typically, Japanese packs are guaranteed a secret rare. Uh, and hyper rare or guaranteed something that's, you know, designated an SR man, whenever this happens, I, my heart's always pounding because I'm like down to the last pack. And I'm like, what is it going to be? What is it going to be? Okay. 
Let's see, last pack magic. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to smash that subscription button and hit those notification bells, comment, subscribe, all those things. I really appreciate y'all watching. Let's see if we can get that last pack magic. And oh no, what happened? No secret rare. You guys know I can't end on that note. A box with no secret rare when you're sub pretty much supposed to be guaranteed to get a secret rare in Japanese booster boxes. We're not ending on that note. We're not ending on that note with only getting a hyper rare and it's a drapey, drapey on. We got to do one more box. I, I already ripped it. I already cracked it. We're doing it. We're doing it, guys. We're going to speed run this, see what we can get. <laughs> I know I might have tricked y'all thinking the video was over, but uh, we're not ending on a box with no secret rare on my first opening. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. So let's see what we get. And we got nothing in that one, but that's all cool. So yeah, but uh, loving, loving Japanese, loving Japanese, loving the Japanese packs. And it, it really helps me to know like when English comes out, if I want to do a lot uh, of, you know, buy a lot of stuff of the English version of that set, because I can get the nice little preview of Japanese uh, for a little bit cheaper. And uh, I'm loving it, you know, it, it's working for me. So who's excited for everything that Pokemon's got coming up? What about that Pokemon Ultra Premium Collection that we're supposed to be getting in uh, in October? Do you think it's going to be a Sword and Shield or do you think it's going to be a Scarlet and Violet? Because it's coming out supposedly at the end of October. So there's, you know, it could go either way. It could end out the Sword and Shield era or it could start off. The Scarlet and Violet era. What do you guys think? I don't know. I lean towards, I kind of think it'll start off the Scarlet and Violet era. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. I think it'd be the perfect way to like kick off the new generation is to kick it off with an ultra premium collection that uh, hopefully is hopefully is not really, really hard for people to get. <laughs> but that's my opinion. We got something back here. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Kyurem V. So we hit a Kyurem at VMAX uh, in the first box, and then we hit the V in the second box. So hoping for some redemption on this second box. I just can't end on a box with no secret rare. Chilling Rain was super dirty to me like that. And then uh, we did a booster box opening live on Wednesday night, last Wednesday. And it was the first Chilling Rain booster box that I ever pulled an alt art from. And I actually pulled two. That was a crazy live stream. I was freaking out. Pulled the, um, let's see, what did I pull? I pulled the alternate art Galarian Articuno. And I pulled the alternate art Shadow Rider Calrex V, I believe. Uh, as well as two full art trainers uh, and a gold card. Uh, and so that was like some great redemption for Chilling Rain because I pulled one secret rare from Chilling Rain. And that was my gold Snorlax from the first ever box. Hey, we hit that guy again. Uh, my gold Snorlax from the first ever box I opened. Uh, and I actually ironically graded that with AGS and got a 10, which was really cool. Snorlax is chilling over there. You know what? <clears throat> Snorlax brought me... <sighs> Snorlax brought me great luck when we were breaking, breaking the chilling rain curse the other day. So come on, Snorlax, bring me some luck. Bring me some luck with this box. But we did break the chilling rain curse. That set was brutal to me. Oh, there we go. Gold Giratina V-Star. We will take that. Holy cow. Come on, let this second box make up for the first box. Nice. All right, Gold Giratina V-Star. And Gold is an ultra rare in Japanese and does not technically, technically categorize as an SR. That is sick looking. That looks really, really good, guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. That's my first Gold V-Star, uh, actually. That is a sick looking card. Come on, Snorlax. Bust out the Snorlax for good luck and look what happens. Look what happens, Snorlax. Come on, man. I think my uh, I think my AGS 10 shiny uh, gold Snorlax is, uh, is my good luck charm next. Heck yeah, come on. Let's make up for that first box with this box. I'm telling you, that Chilling Rain opening was insane. Insane, insane, insane. So come on, let's make up for it and uh, pull some heat and then pull some heat for our channel members Wednesday night. That'll be amazing. Just pay attention for that stream. I usually get those loaded up a day or two ahead of time. So that'll be uh, that'll be a fun, a fun stream. Hey, there is the Kyurem VMAX again. I wonder if there's not very many 
VMAXs in this set. There might not be too terribly many. That, that could be the case. All right, working our way close to halfway through box number two. See what we can do. Haha, <laughs> I rhymed on accident. And nothing in that one. This is fun. I love hanging out with you guys and ripping packs. It's always so much fun. And it's always fun when it's something brand new, especially something like this that, uh, you know, not a lot of us have actually seen uh, the cards that are in this set. That is always a ton of fun. We got a Porygon. There we go again. Uh, so I think by now we've probably seen most all of the uh, commons and uncommon cards. So we'll just kind of go through them and then we'll focus on anything that uh, that we pull that we haven't seen yet. Uh, which will most likely be, you know, bees and, and stuff like that with that really cool rainbowy smoky stuff that's right here coming out of the artwork. I'm really interested to see if that means anything because it's super cool, man. It looks really, really interesting. And I'm interested to see if it carries over into uh, into English as well. Shroomish. All right, how Lucha. Come on, Snorlax. Oh, we got the Shadow Rider Calrat, or the Shadow Rider again. Shadow Rider again. All right, halfway point. Gold Giratina. Come on, give us the gold and give us an SR in this set to make up for the last one. Give us a gold and an SR to make up for the last box. Nice little Mimikyu action going on there. All right, we are at the halfway point of box number two. Make sure to smash that like button if you're enjoying the opening because I am enjoying hanging out here with you guys. Bouflant, as always. Ooh, Trevenant Hollow. We haven't pulled that one yet. It's the first, uh, first Trevenant Hollow we've pulled. All right, another one. Another pack. You guys want to know uh, a pet peeve of mine? And this is just me being silly. I'm not saying if you do this that there's anything wrong with you. Uh, seeing people open their packs with scissors. <laughs> I love opening my packs by hand. Now, I'm not saying, okay, listen, listen. I'm not saying if you open your packs with scissors, you're doing anything wrong. If that's what you do, you're awesome. I love it. But for me, I just love, there's nothing quite like the feel and the sound of ripping a pack. There's that cool hypno again. Ripping a pack with your bare hands. Getting in there and just a little, oh yeah. I don't know. It's satisfying some pokemon asmr right <laughs> so if you cut your packs open with scissors i'm not saying anything bad about you i just love ripping them hey giratina v all right give us the giratina alt come on snorlax come on good lord that is a really good looking v holy smokes look at that look at that as far as v's are concerned that is fan freaking Fantastic. Come on, Giratina Alt Art. Giratina Alt, Aerodactyl Art. Alt. Let's do it. Snorlax, you got this, bro. Snor if I hit something crazy, Snorlax will officially be my lucky charm. Snorlax will... Ooh, Shiftry. Snorlax will officially be my lucky charm. This AGS 10 Snorlax will officially be the Dr. Applesauce official lucky charm for uh, ripping Pokemon packs and hoping to get crazy good hits that uh, I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. Um, Vulpix. All right, let's go. Oh, Macargo. I'm really in. How many times have I said that? Huh? How many times have I said how interested I am? I don't know. It's, it's just super cool. Super, super cool. All right, Snorlax, let's do it. We got the Giratina Gold. We got the Giratina V. Giratina Alt. Let's get it. Come on. Giratina Alt. Let's get it. We got Venomoth. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left. Seven packs left. We can do it. I know we can. I know we can. Heart of the cards, ladies and gentlemen. Heart of the cards. All right. I'm having a blast. I hope you guys are too. And we got... Oh my God. <laughs> Giratina Gold V Star. Giratina V Star. Giratina V. All we gotta do is hit the freaking alt art and we'll have pulled them all out of one box. Oh my goodness gracious. This box is definitely a lot better than the last box. I am not regretting ripping it. You know, sometimes you're like, oh, I gotta rip one more box, and then you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that's not what's happening right here. Not at all. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Snorlax, you're doing a great job. Probably think I'm a crazy person talking to a Pokemon card. Come on, Snorlax. You got this. You got this. We got a Dawn fan and a Dugong. Dugong, Dugong, Dugong. 
I know we can do it. I believe, and even if we don't do it, I had a blast ripping a couple booster boxes with you guys today. We got Phantom and we got Ice Rider. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully you guys can get your hands on some of these packs. Uh, I will have some available to do a live break for very, very cheap. Uh, and ooh, we got a V back there. And if they don't sell out to my channel members uh, by today or tomorrow, I will have them open to the public and I'll post all of that on my community tab. We got right there, Galarian Berserker V again. All right, so not too many doubles. That's not bad. Only like three, three doubles out of two boxes. Three packs left. Can we do it? What do we got? Snorlax, how you doing? All right, we got two packs left. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Let's do it. Maybe I'm tripping, and maybe if you pull a gold, that counts as your secret rare. But uh, I know I've opened boxes that have secret rares and golds and hyper rares before. Last pack. Maybe that's the case. Maybe if you had a gold or a rainbow, that's just it for you. Maybe it's just a maybe it's just a guaranteed hyper rare, ultra rare, or better. Who knows? Either way, this box was a lot better than the first one. All right, again, I know we've already done this once before, but if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, and watch the video all the way through. Doing all those things helps so much. Let's see what we got this time around. Last pack magic and bah, nope, nope, nope. But still awesome. All three of those Giratinas, nice. No alts for me. That means I'm probably gonna pull an alt for somebody on Wednesday night's break, but still super, super sick. Guys, if y'all enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy that video. Make sure to click that and watch that. You'll probably learn something. And like I always say, my friends, find somebody to love and serve today and be the change you wanna see in the world. We'll see you next time.